team. We're going to work on Chapter 2 Grader Inventories for homework. Let's get started. I always like to save again back into my file. And I use my last name. And I use a 1 because I want to make sure that I know it's my first attempt at the assignment. You had three files to download. You also had an instruction file and a sliced theme. Change the theme to slice. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Um, if we click on page layout, we'll get over here to themes. And we click on our themes and we are looking for the slicer. So you can kind of see that these things are alphabetic, close to alphabetical. Now that I say that, I see slice right here, but I don't see slicers. I think slice is what I was looking for. It looks like some primary colors. I'm going to click that to identify that. And then it says rename the sheet as bulbs. So we're going to come down here to our sheet tab. We're going to right click, go to rename, and type the word bulbs. And then it says, so you just click off of it, and it see, it's already changed our title. I'm going to click on Sheet 2 and right-click and rename that one Trees. All right, and we just click off. Click the Bulb Sheet tab to make it the active sheet. So we go back there, and that's the end of Step 2. Step three, to the right of column B, so here's column B, which is column C, insert two new columns to create a new blank column C and D. So we're going to click on C column up in the gray area, right click, click insert, and there's your new C column. And we're going to right click and click insert, and there's your new D column. So we have a blank C column and a blank D column. By using flash fill in the two columns, split the data in column B into a column for item numbers and column C and category in column D. So that's what we're working on right now. So we actually have some more hints. If you don't know what to do, try Flash Fill in Google or YouTube. You will be amazed at the results of the teaching, but it's also going to help us out a little bit. As necessary, type item number in the column title for C. So we're going to click over here in C, and we're in cell C14, and we're going to type item, space, and number, which is our shift three. Okay. And then it says you're going to type category in column D. So column D is cell D14, and we just type the term category. Good job. Now, delete column B by using the cut and paste command. Cut column C category and then paste it in the column G, and then delete the empty column C. Apply autofill in column A through so one way to flash fill is right now we need item numbers in column C. And if we start typing 2, 3, 9, and then go down and type 1, 2, 6, 5, see how our data is matching the columns to the left? And then we come over here and we go flash fill. Well. We can highlight this and go flash fill. So what we're going to do is we start typing the item numbers. 1, 2, 3, 9, hit enter. 1, 2, 6, 5, hit enter. And 1, 2, 8, 5. And Excel should see the pattern and fill for you. Now, my flash fill wasn't working, 
So what I did is I clicked in the cell beneath the 1285 and I came up here to the search menu and I was like, I've tried flash fill and ev everything. So then I t typed enable flash fill. And when I did that and clicked enter, wow, did you see that? Excel just populated. It recognized the 1356 and the data that I was filling in. So let's try it over here in category. In category, we want daffodils. I like daffodils, by the way. Daffodils again. Now this time, instead of daffodils, we want delight. Look. Now you see the autofill has been enabled, and Excel is saying, oh, I get what you're doing. You're pulling the name of the flowers from column B, and you're typing them in column D. Exactly. We're splitting our data. I hit Enter, and Excel automatically flash fills the column for me. Now, how cool is that? Now we're asked to delete column B. So we've split our data. We have our items in column C here, and we have our categories in column D. So we're going to click on the gray header of column B. I'm going to right click, and I'm just going to hit delete. By using the cut and paste commands, cut column C category and paste it to column G. Okay, so. I'm going to do this one step at a time. So that's where we are right now. We are being asked, sorry about that. We're being asked to cut column C category and paste it to column G. So I'm going to click on the C. I'm going to right click. I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to come over here and it wants it in column G. So I click on column G and I hit paste. And then delete the empty C column. So you come back to C, you right click, and you hit delete. That's the end of step three, which was kind of different. There's a special note here to Mac users about inserting and copying ranges. So let's go ahead and go to step four. Display the tree worksheets and repeat step three on this worksheet. Ooh, fun. Let's go over there. So we're going to go to step two. We're being asked to insert two empty columns. One, two. We're asked to give a new header of item number and a new header of categories or category. Over here in item number, we start copying our 1783 from cell B15. Then we go down and, and type 2133. We go down and we type 2345. And we hit down. And isn't that interesting? It didn't flash fill for us. Well, let's try our enable flash fill again. Enable flash fill. And look at that. Our tree nuts are 2347 and our evergreens are 2389. And we're going to come over here to category and type in nut trees and go down. Shade. You do have to spell right. I think if you can't get it to populate and enable doesn't populate, make sure you're spelling right. Look, it's already flash filled for us. We hit enter and the categories are taken care of. We're asked to delete column B. So we're going to click on the gray part of column B and click delete. And then we're asked to copy and paste or cut and paste commands to cut column C which is the categories and paste it to column G. So we're going to cut column C and paste it to G, which was different looking than we had earlier because of the sizes. And that's the end of step four. I'm going to go ahead and save. I did miss one thing. It asked us to autofill. I, you know, I need to make this kind of a little bit.
bit bigger. It's asking us to autofill fit columns A through F. So if you look at columns A through F, you can double click between the columns and that'll do an auto fit. Oops, we were supposed to delete that column D, weren't we? Yep, see. And double click and double click and double click. And double click and double click and I would save. And let's go back and make sure we do that for bulbs as well. Just double click between the columns and it will best fit auto fit your columns for you. And there we go. And save. 